Top 20 IT Support Engineer Interview Questions and Answers Are you preparing for an IT Support Engineer interview and want to stand out from the competition? In this video, we'll walk you through the top 20 most commonly asked IT Support Engineer interview questions, along with clear, professional answers that showcase your technical expertise and problem-solving skills. Whether you're a fresher or an experienced candidate, these answers will help you build confidence and respond like a pro in any technical interview scenario. Watch till the end to gain the edge you need to land your next IT support role. 1. Can you explain your experience with troubleshooting hardware and software issues? I have extensive experience troubleshooting various hardware components like desktops, laptops, printers, and network devices, as well as software issues including system crashes, slow performance, and application errors. I follow a structured approach. Identify symptoms, gather user input, isolate the root cause, test possible solutions, and apply the fix. I've resolved problems ranging from faulty RAM and overheating CPUs to corrupt drivers and compatibility errors. My focus is always on minimizing downtime and maintaining user productivity. I document the issue and resolution for future reference and continuous improvement of support protocols. Two. How do you prioritize multiple support tickets at once? I prioritize tickets based on urgency, impact, and business criticality. First, I identify high-priority issues, such as company-wide outages or executive support, which require immediate attention. Then, I assess deadlines, ticket timestamps, and SLA commitments. I use a ticketing system to categorize and tag issues for efficient tracking. Communication is key so I always inform users of expected resolution times. If necessary, I escalate or delegate tasks to balance the workload. This structured approach ensures critical tasks are handled first without neglecting lower priority tickets. Three, what steps do you follow when diagnosing a network connectivity issue? When troubleshooting a network issue, I begin by confirming the problem, checking if the user can access local resources, the internet, or both. I inspect the physical connection, IP configuration, and use tools like Ping, Tracert, or IP protocol configuration to identify where the issue lies. I verify whether it's device-specific or affecting multiple users. I check router slash switch status, review DHCP slash DNS settings, and consult firewall rules if needed. I also examine any recent changes in network topology or updates. Once the issue is fixed, I test the connection thoroughly and document the root cause for future prevention. 4. Describe a time when you resolved a difficult technical problem. At my previous job, a user's computer kept freezing intermittently, impacting their productivity. Initial diagnostics showed no errors. I reviewed event logs and found disk errors. I backed up the user's data and ran hardware diagnostics, revealing a failing hard drive. I replaced it reinstalled the OS and restored data. The issue was resolved permanently. This experience taught me the importance of thorough investigation beyond surface level checks and how proactive maintenance can prevent bigger failures. The user appreciated the quick resolution and I was commended by my manager for handling it independently. Five, what operating systems are you most familiar with? I am proficient in Windows 7, 10, 11, Mac OS, and various Linux distributions, Ubuntu, CentOS. My primary experience lies in supporting Windows environments, including user account management, registry edits, system recovery, and group policy management. I've also assisted users with Mac OS issues such as application permissions, iCloud syncing, and OS updates. On Linux, I've performed basic system admin tasks, used terminal commands, and handled file permissions. My familiarity with cross-platform environments helps me provide support in hybrid workplaces and troubleshoot compatibility issues effectively. Six, how do you handle an angry or frustrated user? I stay calm and listen actively, allowing the user to express their frustration without interruption. I acknowledge their feelings and reassure them that I'm here to help. I avoid technical jargon and explain things clearly and respectfully. My priority is to de-escalate the situation by providing empathy, quick support, and timely updates. Once I resolve the issue, 
I confirm that the user is satisfied and follow up to ensure there are no recurring problems. Building trust and maintaining professionalism, even under pressure, is key to delivering excellent support and keeping users confident in IT services. 7. Explain how you would set up a new employee's workstation. I begin by preparing hardware, desktop or laptop, monitor, keyboard, mouse, and phone if required. I install the necessary operating system, drivers, and software applications based on the employee's role. I configure network settings, create user accounts, map shared drives, set up email, and ensure printer access. I also apply security policies such as antivirus installation, firewall settings, and user permissions. I test everything to confirm functionality and provide a brief onboarding to familiarize the user with the setup. Proper documentation ensures consistency in future setups and allows for smooth onboarding experiences. Eight. What tools do you use for remote desktop support? I commonly use tools like TeamViewer, AnyDesk, Microsoft Remote Desktop, and Chrome Remote Desktop for remote access. In enterprise environments, I've worked with tools like SCCM, LogMeIn, and Bomger. These tools allow me to securely access users' machines, diagnose issues in real time, and perform fixes without being physically present. I always ensure proper user consent, secure login, and maintain logs for compliance. Remote tools are crucial for supporting remote employees or resolving issues quickly without physical intervention, helping boost overall efficiency in IT operations. Nine, how do you keep your technical skills up to date? I regularly follow tech blogs, online forums, and subscribe to newsletters from Microsoft, TechCrunch, and cybersecurity platforms. I take online courses on platforms like Coursera, LinkedIn Learning, and Udemy to deepen my knowledge in areas like networking, cloud services, and cybersecurity. I also participate in webinars, attend local tech meetups, and earn certifications such as CompTIA A+, Microsoft Certified, or ITIL. Staying updated allows me to provide modern solutions, implement best practices, and remain competitive in the fast-evolving IT landscape. 10. Describe a situation where you went beyond your job duties to solve a problem. Once, a department faced repeated printer failures during an important project. While not my primary responsibility, I took the initiative to investigate. I discovered a network misconfiguration causing print job delays. I reconfigured the printer settings, updated firmware, and streamlined the queue. I also created a quick user guide to help them troubleshoot minor issues in the future. My proactive approach prevented project delays and saved productivity hours. Management appreciated my initiative, and this experience taught me that going the extra mile builds trust and strengthens team reliability. 11. How do you ensure data security when dealing with user devices? I follow strict security protocols when handling user devices. This includes using strong authentication, encrypting data, and applying access controls. I ensure antivirus software is updated and active, and that devices are patched with the latest security updates. When servicing a device, I avoid accessing personal files unless necessary and always obtain user consent. For sensitive operations like data recovery or transfer, I use secure methods and tools. I also educate users on safe practices like avoiding phishing links and using strong passwords. Documentation and audit logs help ensure accountability and compliance with company policies. 12. What is Active Directory and how have you used it? Active Directory, AD, is a Microsoft Directory service used to manage users, computers, and resources in a Windows network. I've used AD to create and manage user accounts, reset passwords, control group memberships, and apply group policies. I also use it to assign permissions for shared folders and printers. AD helps centralize network administration, making it easier to enforce security standards and maintain consistency across devices. My experience with AD includes routine tasks as well as diagnosing login issues, replicating permissions, and supporting domain-related user access problems. 13. Can you explain DNS and how it affects internet browsing? DNS, domain name system, translates human-readable domain names like www.google.com into IP addresses that computers use to communicate. 
If DNS isn't working properly, users may face issues like website not found or long loading times. I've resolved DNS-related problems by flushing DNS caches, changing DNS servers, e.g., to Google or Cloudflare, and checking for misconfigurations. I also monitor DNS propagation when updating domain records. Understanding DNS helps ensure smooth internet access and quick resolution of common connectivity issues, which is essential for user satisfaction and business operations. 14. How would you recover a user's deleted files? First, I check if the files are in the recycle bin and restore them if available. If not, I verify if the organization has file history, OneDrive backup, or a centralized backup system in place. I use built-in Windows features or third-party recovery tools to retrieve the files from backups or restore previous versions. I avoid using the affected drive to prevent overwriting the deleted data. Once recovered, I advise the user on backup best practices. I document the case and take preventive steps to minimize future data loss, like setting up automated backups. 15. What is the difference between a switch and a router? A switch connects devices within a local network, LAN, and enables them to communicate by forwarding data based on MAC addresses. It doesn't assign IP addresses or route traffic outside the network. A router, on the other hand, connects multiple networks together and routes data between them using IP addresses, typically between a LAN and the Internet. In short, switches create networks while routers connect them. In my role, I've configured switches for VLANs and monitored router settings for network access, security policies, and troubleshooting connectivity issues across subnets or to the Internet. 16. Describe your experience with help desk ticketing systems. I've used various help desk ticketing systems such as ServiceNow, Zendesk, Jira, and Freshdesk to manage IT support workflows. These systems help me log, prioritize, track, and resolve user issues efficiently. I document each ticket thoroughly, including the problem description, troubleshooting steps, resolution, and user feedback. I use tags, categories, and SLAs to ensure tasks are handled in order of urgency and importance. The analytics and reporting features also help identify recurring issues and optimize support processes. Proper use of ticketing systems enhances accountability, communication, and transparency within the IT support team. 17. How do you handle system updates with minimal disruption to users? I schedule system updates during off-peak hours or maintenance windows to avoid disrupting user activity. I notify users in advance with clear instructions and expected downtimes. I test updates on a few systems before rolling them out network-wide to identify any potential conflicts. Automated tools like WSUS or SCCM help me deploy patches systematically. After the update, I monitor performance and user feedback to ensure everything runs smoothly. If issues arise, I have rollback plans in place. My goal is to maintain system security and performance while minimizing downtime and inconvenience for users. 18. What's your approach to documenting IT processes and issues? Documentation is essential for maintaining consistency and efficiency. I create step-by-step -step guides, FAQs, and troubleshooting checklists for common tasks and issues. I document system configurations, user setups, and solutions to recurring problems in a centralized knowledge base accessible to the team. Each support ticket is logged with detailed notes to aid in future reference or handovers. Good documentation not only speeds up onboarding and support, but also ensures compliance and reduces dependency on individual memory or experience. I regularly review and update documentation to keep it relevant and useful. 19. How do you support non-technical users effectively? I communicate in simple, non-technical language and avoid jargon to make users feel comfortable and understood. I patiently guide them through solutions step-by-step -step and use analogies or visuals when helpful. I also provide short user guides or screenshots for clarity. I listen carefully to their concerns, validate their frustration, and ensure they feel supported throughout the process. My goal is to empower users, not just fix problems. By building trust and being approachable, I create a positive support experience that encourages users to seek help without hesitation. 20. What is your process for escalating unresolved technical issues? 
If an issue exceeds my scope or expertise, I escalate it promptly to the appropriate tier or specialist team, ensuring all relevant information is included. Error messages, steps already taken, system logs, and screenshots. I follow the escalation matrix defined by the company and track the status of the ticket after escalation. Throughout the process, I keep the user informed and set realistic expectations. My focus is on collaboration, not just delegation, to ensure a quick and effective resolution. Proper escalation ensures minimal downtime and reinforces team efficiency and reliability. Thanks for watching our guide on the top 20 IT support engineer interview questions and answers. We hope these insights help you feel more prepared and confident for your upcoming interview. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more career-focused content. If you have any questions or need more tips, drop a comment below. We're here to help. Good luck with your interview. Go in there, stay calm, and show them what you've got. You've got this.